Okay, Sue, you had another question? Yeah, what do women want? What do women want? Well, let's take a look. This is what we suggest might be one of the things that women want. How close are we? Are we okay? Mm -hmm. Security? Um, I've been doing a lot of coaching over the years with both women and men as far as investment advising goes. And one of the things I've always found is that women want a free and clear house. Men want a sports car, women want a free and clear house. Mm -hmm. Right? Okay, good. So that makes you feel secure. I understand that. Um, and women want to have a $2 million uh, insurance policy mm -hmm. with them as a beneficiary. Got some agreement there? Yeah. Okay, great. I'm sorry, man. That's what they want. You know, we're, this is our this is our game here. Now, in the area of security for retirement, we were talking earlier about IRA accounts and retirement accounts and, and where money is invested. I just want to uh, share with you that um, I think that you might not be as secure with your investment accounts as you think you are. Now, let's take a look at where uh, traditional IRA accounts are and where they're invested in. Right now, there's over $4.2 trillion invested in IRA accounts, 401ks, that type of programs. And uh, wh where would you say this money is mostly invested? Mutual funds. Mutual funds, okay. So uh, about 3% or 3.2%, 3.2 billion, I think it was, is in mutual funds. The rest is in various other types of things. But most of it's in mutual funds. So we're just going to say, we're just going to say mutual funds. And um, the stock market right now is at an all-time high, 14,000, 13,500, 14,000, depending on the time of day and the day of the week. But it's at an all-time high in our lifetime, my lifetime and your lifetime. Last year, we looked at 2006, and the top five mutual funds uh, going over a five-year period went up about 43%. Now, not 43% a year, but 43% over five years. So we'll divide five into that, and that gives us about an 8% return on an average stock mutual fund. And there's billions of dollars in these funds. Uh, incidentally, there are over 7,000 mutual funds. Don't know whether you have your money in the best one or not. I never could figure out which one's the best one because it changes. Now, the guys that run these mutual funds you know, the guys that are 30 years old on Wall Street and they came from Wharton or MIT, their job is to outperform the guy down the street. And uh, sometimes they do it and sometimes they don't. But what their job is, is to invest your money that you're supposed to have in your retirement fund into safe stocks that go up in value. And when I was in the securities business with Merrill Lynch for about eight years, we didn't invest in some of the places they're now investing in. And I get concerned about that. I'm, I'm seriously concerned about it. Because over 60% of U.S. corporate profits today are invested overseas. That's where they're making their money. Uh, Hong Kong, China, Taiwan, pick a, pick a country. And I am concerned that I don't know whether I want my long-term retirement money in some Chinese offshore index oil fund that I don't know anything about. And quite frankly, last time I looked, China was still a communist country. Uh, they also, incidentally, own $900 billion worth of treasury bills. I don't understand that at all. But we are a global economy, and I just suggest that there's more risk right now than ever in my lifetime. Now, what I'd also like to do is talk to you about, about something you may not know about. One of the things you may not know about is that you can own, in your right retirement program, you can own a real estate. A lot of people don't understand that. In fact, out of the $4.2 trillion in uh, IRAs right now, and retirement funds, only 2% is in real estate. We've been able to do this for a while. Government doesn't tell you all the tricks and techniques, but we're gonna show you some things. So we'd like to suggest that just as a possibility, while the stock market is at an all-time high, that you might consider taking some profits off the table and investing it in real estate. Because I think this is a little bit more secure. Now. Stock market's at an all-time high. Real estate has gone down, down about 25%. So I get excited about this. We're a buyer of real estate. I want to be buying at a discount. Uh, again, the old stock market tool is buy low, sell high. Well, the stock market's up, real estate market's low. You now know you can put real estate in your IRA. 
that's something to think about. Now, the other thing here is, is that we have no mortgages on property. We own it free and clear. So we don't have a risk of financing and things like that. Also, we're renting a house out like this for let's say $1,650 a month. So we have positive cash flow to pay the rent or, or to pay the taxes, insurance, maintenance and everything. Because the home's free and clear, we're holding it for a long term. We like to consider a five year hold and uh, that gives us enough time for the real estate to go up in value. And right now, because of the way we're buying properties in Florida, we have a target range, uh, a target yield range of 12 to 16% per year. So we're buying while it's at a discount, possibly taking some profits off the top of the all-time stock market, and this just makes a lot of sense for us. Okay, now, um, as, I, as I mentioned, you can own real estate in your IRA. Now, you might not have enough in your IRA or your retirement fund to own this house because it's several hundred thousand dollars. But the thing is, is that you can own a piece of it. For instance, uh, you can own 10% in your IRA, your husband can own 10%, your mother-in-law can own 10%, your father-in-law can put some cash in. There's lots of different ways. This is what we do at Southeast Capital. We put together uh, people that have different uh, amounts of money in their various programs and we buy the house, pay cash, hold it for five years, rent it out to good people, and manage the property. And uh, right now we have a $36 million portfolio with uh, 109 to 110 homes right now. And we think it's a great time to buy.